looks like it's a crumpled up road sign. Because I can see the red and white, so. Kind of circuit. Right. Oh, nasty piece of glass. Marijuana point. Onto something. No. Not sure. What you found, Bab? So I've just found, uh, I don't know the technical term for it, but the underlever to a shotgun. Have oh, you? Yeah. yeah um, so if I clean oh. that, I'm going to give it a swish. I do keep going stuck on something out there, so I'm pulling it in slowly. So that is the under undercarriage, under lever. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? It attaches to the bottom of the shotgun, the barrels would be that way. You'd press that to release it to unlock the barrels. So, yeah, nice. It'll have a number on there, actually. And that piece is okay to keep, because it's just it's not pressure bearing or nothing, so... I should clean it up and have a look at it. Um, so we'll come back out to Coventry again, to a... Different, a different one. Area. <laughs> but we've got Nigel and Aaron with us. Nicholas let us down, Rusty's let us down, but we've no got coffee. and the cop now coffee either. But we've got the one and only Sonic! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> How'd you go, guys? <laughs> so oh. like and subscribe to this guy guys, absolutely a brilliant channel. Thanks guys. Brilliant blow to fish with. And uh, I'll give his address out later. <laughs> I'll give you a tenner in a bit. Okay, sure do. <laughs> Spring. 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 Ooh! My God, I'm having so many, so many better finds this evening than it is Lucas. Right, so we're safe in a black bag, as you can see. I bet there's nothing in here because it's peaky dippers, but we'll have a look. Oh, it's been burglarised. Any idea in it or anything I now? Need to be safe so far. Nothing in the black bag. We've got the mat to the safe. I'm suspecting that's probably the bolts. Normally, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> bit of a squirter. <laughs> Yeah, there's the wall bolts, so you can mount it to the wall. And there's, in true Peaky Dipper style, there's absolutely nothing in it, but one day, one day. One day you'll make your millions. <laughs> I'll give it to charity. Ah. Oh. I'm not sure I'm comfortable, but I'll give the rest to charity. <laughs> So there you go, we've got a nice empty safe anyway. That's all I do now because I'll put all the bits of scrap in there. Oh. 
you're finding these. Sax window eyes again. There we go. Another sax window eyes. And go on. Maybe off a bug, not sure. And a piece of a shoe, an oil. Little screwdriver. Make some air that. Oh. You have, you made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Marie's a mucky pup. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Let's be wick for Glenn. Go on, Marie. Go on. Let's be wick for Glenn. And. Sure what that had been off, but it's got a battery in it. A little toy, maybe. Glenn's pulled that out, which I think is an offering. There we go. It's nice. And I've pulled out a little padlock. A bit of bling. Sugar bowl, I think. Just pulled out that. Got a call and a GPS. So I'll need some kind of tracker. So if you call it, it tracks it. There we go. There we go, look at those. Might keep them. Harry Krishna to me. How are you? Yeah, it's not Harry Krishna. Yeah, it's Krishna. When there's a picture of Harry Krishna on the back. Oh, there you go. I thought it was Harry Harry. Krishna. Some kind of bracket. 
Oh, that's my only badge. I don't know if anybody Who's can... on it, Marie? I don't know. So if anybody can tell me who it is. You can't you can't help the Mandela. <laughs> so I've decided to have a sit down. I thought it was quite a high bench, but I mean it's a good job Nicola around here, she have nose bleed. But me and Sonic are dangling our feet and Aaron's like, he can't get a rest lock, he can't even put his feet up. He's just sitting there comfortably. Go <laughs> <laughs> <Don't> jump down. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long way down. So let's pull that up. Don't know if it's some kind of light up or what. Come up on the on the magnet. Nice. And we've had house key. And 8p, look. You got 8p! <laughs> oh, you little son. And 8 pence. Hey, employers. Hey. Have I got another badge? <laughs> We've got this one. I don't know. I can't see. I've got the around the edge. So, I'm a little devil, I just found that. Hang on a minute, this doesn't belong to me, Nigel. <laughs> what are you saying, I'm a horny devil? He's a horny devil, well, you're more than a horny devil. Got <laughs> <laughs> that. And a pound coin just fell into my hand. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> pound. There's a couple of quid. Oh, there's 50 pences. Oh, <laughs> oh. Right. Well, there's an off horses around the corner. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, old ones. Get your beers in, Glenn. Three pound, three pound ten. Um, there's a 50 pence. You're going to run out of socks and like, shoes soon, you know what I mean? Is that the old 50 pence? Is that new? No, that's yeah. old. Okay. Oh, it is of old 50 pence, yeah. That's the old one, yeah. Lad, yeah, it's been down there some time then. Still legal tender at the bank. It is, yeah. yeah. 1976, 50 pence. Rusty, he's got a job for you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he'd soon like to clean these ones, wouldn't they? Oh, my God, there's some pounds in there. Why would you throw pounds in there? I have not got a clue. Wow. Another 50 pence. Nice bike. Another thing. pound. Thank you. Give it to the wife. <laughs> Out of one hand into the other. Another pound. Oh, Count that... it up in a minute, Marie. Are these old pounds? Yeah. There's um, another coin. I don't know what that is. If all this money's that old, do you think it's genuinely Glenn's wallet? <laughs> <laughs> They're saying I planted my wallet because I never spent any money and it's been that long ago that um, I used any coinage. So, oh, tally that up then, Marie. Tally that up. Wow. He's yeah. nicked my spot! He's nicked... I put the fiver out the canal, he's nicked my spot! <laughs> I threw it that way. Right. <laughs> Actually, no, I didn't. I threw oh, my magnet right over there. It's about £7 there. <laughs> it's, about, it's about £7. Another penny. Right? And the key. Mm. Um, but there's no ID, so. Um, and for seven quid, I think they've lost that years ago, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. That's empty now. So are you buying the beers on the way, haven't you? I'm going to buy the beers, but they've got to be 80s prices. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what it is. Ooh, really? I've just found a super dry um, card wallet. Got nothing in it. Super dry, mirror. Oh, card yeah. wallet. That's worth keeping. Super dry is a good make. Yeah, 
piece of scrap and a bangle. I didn't get my gunny. No, I'm really wanting your camera up today. I need a display one. Yeah, yeah. so I've found a little phone. It's a little display one, look. <laughs> Tiny. Nicholas phone. Nicholas mobile phone. Then we've got some kind of part of a game gaming device. Missing off the back, obviously. We've got a naughty naughty a knife. We've got a compact. Take that and back and clean it up. Take that back and clean it up. Um, part of um, they, this is a, a Ford Escort, 1985 to 1991. So I've been told. So don't shoot the messenger. Then we've got the ruffling. That's a prayer. That's a prayer capsule. Capsule that is. And then we've got a padlock. Then we've had loads and loads of pennies which I'll just give to Nigel Perry. Um a lighter. So it's a load more of them prayer capsules. That's them. And I've also had a coin which isn't magnetic, believe it or not, which came up. I don't know how it came up, but it just managed to fall off the magnet into my hand. Um, and it's a 2009, I'll show it you in a minute. So if it's King, African, oh it's Australian. Well I'm presuming it's got kangaroos on it. So if you can see that. Uh, let it focus in. But I will clean it up on the phones anyway. But yeah, nice, nice to find that. Something different. I'll clean the phone and I'm all quite handled. Then the car key. There we go. I'm not, I'm not sure what mic it is. Um, that disc. Now Glenn likes to take these discs back and I, and uh, you know tap them off and have a look. You never know. So they're always worth having a clean. There we go. I'll set that back. And pull them. A fish price. There we go. Right. Got a key. Another key. A lanyard. And a set of keys there. Uh, the radiator keys and a bunch of keys and it looks like a bottle opener hippo I've got the Evo Extreme. Can't speak too soon. When this magnet's free, I'm going back down that way. This is shit here anyway. Try and more shut up. Nigel, we can't let the we can't let the money get stuck in a tree. You can't get back. Oh, 
We need to go that way because I don't want to be able to get it can. out. Ready? One, no, no, two. No, no, not ready yet. Right, we come that way here because I'm going to go into the canal. One, two, three. No, no, stop, 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 stop. 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 Shit, I need to go now. It's going to be. He did, he just swiped me straight in the twang. Watch out, man, boys, you're going to be. If you go around the road around there, you can climb over quick and easy and get we've, back. We've tried to avoid that. <laughs> right. We will, we have more to have to do it. Right. Two. It's not going to do the same, you've got to bend it. One, two, three. How strong is this tree? <laughs> yeah, you've got to be scared of doing it right here because there's not a lot of room. And if it comes flying off towards us, you're going to hurt us as well, yeah? Everything's fine. Do you want your Evo? Do you want your Magni? How much do you like your Magni? That's just well, the only one I got today. At least you can say you've had the biggest fine. I'm going to put some weight on it, maybe. No, I found it. Weight. Oh. Once done now, you're going to get it. <laughs> I'll just go, his, his belly's going to work just as much Let's as mine. Let's see the leg pop up there. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. <laughs> oh. oh! I got it up first time. I'm under pressure. Don't watch me. <laughs> <laughs> you're not Come having there. a piss. Jesus. Uh, yes, you're okay. He's already waiting. Yeah, that's what's doing it, the water, isn't it? That's it. Tell me when, Sonny! 
frame even more, which makes it harder to get up. I haven't. Still clear! Still clear! What? He's yes. Still... Oh, yes, he's clear. There's no way from the end of the room. One more time then. One more time then. He's still clear! Yes. Clear. Oh, what? You got my head out of it. You there? Oh, take this it here. You got my head out of it. Oh, for a f sake, you're the end of it, Master. Yep, Marie, you really showed the men out of it. Why don't we get the crap on it? You know what, mate? That's the difference between a sharpshooter and somebody who's got a fat head. <laughs> He's just pruning the trees. Yeah. Oh man. You watch it, you're going to pull me up with Jayva. I've been stuck up. I was stuck in the tree. <laughs> You're about to get it over the pillar now. You know, it's apparently hard enough. Know. You're stuck in your arm and whip it yeah, like last well, week. No, I, I couldn't even do that. I had to hold on with one hand <laughs> and do it with the other hand. And do it with the other hand? Yeah. I think I've got most of that on my camera. I'm still recording. down there, Nigel. No, I just looked, there's about no, a 12 foot drop into yeah, the exactly. and yeah. all sorts. I think see the magnet, but I can't see, yeah. I need a little movie. Dave, no. Dave, be careful, man. I'm going to 
and nodule as well. Bow narrow and nodule, bow. Can I have a guess? Can I have a guess? Yeah. Rubbish. Rubbish, yeah. Yeah. Uh, useless piece of rubbish, basically. Right, if this is to get your magnets out of the tree, I reckon someone else has got stuck in that tree there. And use that Maybe. tree, yeah, probably. Maybe. It's definitely been made up for something. It has, yeah. yeah. Could, be a, could be a camera tickler, or a, an hedgehog tickler. A, a nose picker. And that, it could be a nose picker, yeah. Aaron. For Aaron. <laughs> he's got a tin, Nigel has the fox, and he's got an iron. Oh, hang on. What else you got? This is star fine. Oh, sorry. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Uh, but although Dave, Dave Jordan said it could be the foot of something, and it has got like a rubber grippy thing. So, yeah. Oh. It could be the foot of something. But that was first row. <laughs> And then the second bit was in the bush. And then the next bit was in the bush. Yeah. First row, it was the only row we had today. <laughs> push up, push up. <laughs> and Glenn's forgot to show you, but he's got a date stamp. There we go. Did you want him? Pull that out, some kind of Motorola thing, probably a pager or something, and a nice necklace. It's not magnetic, just came up with that, but yeah. Oh, I just was found that. The trunk's got like three little dots in the middle, don't know if it's a button or what. We'll take it back and clean it. So Marie just found that. And an artist of knife handles. Piece of pipe. The two little knives tucked away in here. Oh naughty naughties. Naughty naughties. Square washer. Tiny little angle thing. Will small this double barrel. As usual. Old square nail. We turn it off. Um, there we go. Last bolt. Nothing exciting, but it's quite a big bolt. Like more scissors and a rocket shaft off the car. A rather large bar, which was very heavy. I can tell you. It's full of mud. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Don't worry about it. Hey, I've got something. Yeah, so we've got a few more. I think that's a... Is it a bit? Never put that. Yeah, we did. So I just pulled out that. It's got a strap on it. 
strap. He's got a strap on. Huh? It's not been very exciting today. It looks like yeah. something's broke off there. Oh, but it's, yeah. That's heavy. That's really heavy. Have oh, yeah. you got another bit? Oh, what's that then? Normally, if you see on the news, Kosh. Is it a Kosh? That's got to be a Kosh. <laughs> it's got to be any. Yeah, it is. It's a truncher. There we go. What do you think it is? The Kosh. Kosh. I've got the other bit of it. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, back in the day, old, yeah. old school Kosh. Yeah. Well, I'm going to yeah. give you some, Gavna. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Fabulous. And what are the oh, odds of that? Finding two separate oh, no. pieces? Yeah, of course. Put the lottery on. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, it's I've just pulled that out. It's a money bag. I don't feel like money in it. Probably just like nuts and bolts, no more. Let's have a look. See what we've got. Could be dog poo, actually. Hang on. No, it's magnetic now. Could be a uh, Phil's gold poo. Yeah. Uh, see what we got. Stones so far. This was taped up as well, so. So, there's some magnetic little stones in there, and they've taped them up and sunk them. There you go, just magnetic stone. That's ridiculous. Better pair of wires. And... We've been a China thing. And fishing lube. I've got the uh, handle off an old pram or something that is, it's all twisted up. Oops. Come on, I want the gold dropping out of the water. You, you have caught something, it's amazing. Come on, He's got a safe, come on, say it, no. Nige. What, what make is he? It's a noose, noob type. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still got the same contents as usual. Yeah, nothing. Again, not the best, but an old cog, quite a big one. Fat thing, Woodruff key uh, slot in the top there. God knows what that's off, rather unusual uh, teeth. And that big um, napkin ring, <laughs> or whatever, I, I don't think it was a napkin ring. A bit big for that, but uh, solid. Quite a few of these actually. I think it is, yeah it is. And what is it you think it is? It's a sad iron. It's very sad. It's a sad iron with no handle on. It is, yeah. It's a bite off a sad iron. It's slightly more interesting than my Morphe Richards one. <laughs> So another sad iron from Coventry. That's got to be the fourth or fifth. Clock in. Yeah, so there we go. Oh, wow. Now, everybody will take the mick out of me here because it's just a fence pin. But this is no ordinary fence pin. <laughs> Look at this. By royal appointment. It's, it, it, I mean, it probably was gold plated at one time. Look at the size of the metal. This isn't your this isn't your Leeds Festival in the car park one. This is a proper one. Oh, I'm made up. I'm made up. Brilliant. Coming out. I'm an exhaust. Ooh. Square thing. Long thing. Even longer thing. End of a murder weapon. Look! Oh! I'll just climb up. 
to wet now now. <laughs> Time for it now, eh? So, just let it fly now. And he's always moaning. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> find anything oh. good. I'm just cutting my teeth. <laughs> Hey, guess what? No idea. <laughs> We're about the 50th time today. Looks like two prongs of fork, but I don't think it is. Right, everybody, so uh, I pulled this out earlier. It's a little bowl, but on the bottom, because Yugoslavia doesn't exist anymore, so we found that. On the bottom is that stamped there. So, I'm going to have a look when I get home on Google. Now it might just be a, a Yugoslavian pot, but I think, I'm sure the, in Second World War they used these and they had them made from different countries. I'm not too sure, but I'll check it anyway. And uh, yeah, how unusual. So it's got the Yugoslavian uh, crest there, look, well, so you call it a crest. It's number 12, whatever that means. Made in Yugoslavia, and it don't exist no more, so I'll take you back and see what it, what it is anyway. Now, it's not been the best day. Ladies and gentlemen, well, half a day. Half a day for so long. <laughs> I really don't. I hate it. Anyway. Five hours late. <laughs> the a second night. shift turned up. <laughs> you spent an hour getting your maggot off the side. Night shift. That's right. They spent you know, two hours in the tree. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Mate. Right. And Dave's Dave's joining in now. Oops. Anyway, where was I? Late. No. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and the first thing you done was drunk coffee and took your clothes off. I d <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true, and I, I feel that that demands a further explanation. Anyway, for let's our viewers. see your tip. Well, you're not going to get one. <laughs> right, knife, bullet, last throw. We're done. See ya. Thanks and good night. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time to come to the end of the day, guys. We've got all the scrap to move. Uh, there's the silver fox. There he is. He's had his. Uh, He's fought with a tree earlier and it's completely tied him out. I have, yeah, I was whacked with a branch. <laughs> he was whacked, yeah. Proper branched out, he did. But, um, I'm gone, yeah. just got a pram coming past. Alright, mate. Okay. Um, I don't want to get the ch child in the video. So, uh, yes, here's Marie, Nigel and Aaron down there, and Sonic. Um, we might come back in a minute if we can catch the scrap man as he's coming at half past four to pick the stuff up, so hopefully if we can get a bit of footage of the scrap being now in, then we will. There's Sonic. Morning. Thanks for joining us today, Sonic. Oh, thanks for having us, mate. No problem at all. Even though I didn't know he was coming until I turned up, <laughs> and I just saw Sonic <laughs> ma magnet fishing now. Blame Aaron. Blame Aaron down there, look. <laughs> no, it's, Aaron, it's Aaron's fault we're out today, because uh, he rescued me. He rescued I, you. I told him I didn't have any plans, and he went jumping. Oh, bless you. So, That's yeah, Aaron all over. Really nice him. of him. He's a softer. Really nice of him. Right, so um, if I can get some footage of scrap, as I say, then I will, uh, being taken away. But uh, he's meeting us down, right down there where them railings are, so we're going to get moving. So thanks so much, guys. I'll see you on the finds. And it's after our fault. And I should try and clean stuff up, and uh, so I've been leaving it lately. But yeah, so I'll see you on the finds, guys. Now let the cleaner me off. Oh, no, Joe, you're taking your pennies. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm saying you're taking your pennies. He's after take... the pennies to the pounds. Yeah, themselves. Are you taking your pennies, Nige? No, we, we keep them all. Of course. Yeah, keep them my pennies. They'll be going in with the rest of my pennies in my pot, in my shed. And at some point, I'll give Steve Forrest an aneurysm by giving them all, all to clean in one go. Because he loves them. That's why I'm saving them. Hi everybody, Pinky Dippers, and if you did get to the end and you're watching me now, good on ya, because uh, it's been a long video, but we did have a lot of bits and bobs that day. We was with, um, who's with now? Nigel Perry. Nigel Perry, Mr. oh yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Sonic. That is naturally caught Mr Perry and Sonic. So yeah, I'll show you some of the finds we had from that day anyway. I won't talk about the video because you've watched it. 
and I'll show you the finds. We've got lots of little bits and bobs. So you've probably seen this little man on Nigel's video. He's a plastic monkey. And we used it for an episode with Rusty. So he's kind of famous now, I suppose. <laughs> um, Try and see where he's off. I don't oh, know. Probably a McDonald's toy. Yeah. Then we found, I think it's a car key, isn't it? It's a, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. We found that anyway. Is it like a stepper or something? Oh, it looks like a pager to me, actually, that does. Yeah, serviced by BT. Yeah, it might be a pager, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. So I chuck your stuff in the tub as I go along. Found a super dry wallet, which is not good for nothing now because all the levers like, obviously once the lever gets wet and swollen, when it dries out again. Well yeah, super dry, had nothing in there, no bank cards or nothing that we could, you know, so that's rubbish. We've got a marijuana pipe. We get these all the time. There's quite a few of them that day if I remember right. We've got an old stamp. Oh, right, eh? You can't um, even see what date it's on, can you? Yeah, I can. Can you? I'm going to have a look, see if I can see anything. When was it last used? I don't know. <laughs> That's a stamp. <laughs> now, we did find two knives, matching knives, stuck into a pipe. Oh, yeah. Weird. So, whether it's something that they carry with them, stick down the trousers, and they've got the knives on them. Could be. Uh, we'll always keep these kind of knives, I'm alright for like frustrations, they are scraping crud off stuff and what have you. So, and then when we don't need them at the end of the year, they go into the um, amnesty bin at the club. Although people say a knife's a knife, yeah, it's a knife's a knife. At the end of the day, if they um, get chucked in the scrap, you just don't know who's going to pick these up. So, don't leave them in piles of scrap, guys. Take them with you. Dismantle them yourself if you have to. That's my advice. We've got some pliers. Are they working? No, because I've, this is the only thing I didn't kind of clean. <laughs> Some pliers there. I will get them working. I'll probably just give them to Dave Sonic because he takes tools. As is, I will with this. Mole grips. Bit of oil. And a bit of patience. Then we'll get working again. Probably past it. But I'll put them in the pile for him anyway. Now, this thing. Marie found that bit. No, I found the other bit. Oh, you found that bit? <laughs> yeah. And Nigel Lamford found that bit. But if you look, it's the same item. So it's some kind of truncheon. Mm, like a baton or something, mm, isn't it? It's been cut in half. Batons in the UK, believe it or not, are illegal uh, and coshies. So whether somebody's cut that in half just to get rid of it, I don't know. Silly, because it's a nice lump of metal there, and that's ever. It, yeah. Um, we've got. We've got some offerings, which we, we thought was running out. We've got a, an Asian offering there. It's got eyes on it, and Rusty don't like eyes. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to keep that for Rusty. And this would have had uh, that glass thing on the bottom, which is another eye, which came off. Oh, yeah, but he doesn't like What I've said to Rusty is, he can put that in his wind mirror, on his uh, rear view mirror in his car, and he can use that as a key ring for his car key. Yeah. So I'm saving that for Rusty. <laughs> we got um, a little medal, Harry Krishna. On the back there, Harry Krishna. And then on the front, Harry Krishna. So it's an offering. Some of these offerings I might drop back in. Um, just something I do. Because I was put in there for uh, them purposes. Um, we've got a bit of a bangle. No point showing this too much of that because it's bangles. We've got uh, like a wooden bead um, necklace or rose. Looks like a rosary actually. Because now some of the Sikh people um, do Christianity, so it could be a it could be like a a rosary bead of some kind. Could be. Yeah, that's that. Um, we found some keys. I like the Rhino bottle opener. I do. Yeah, it's a bit. It's gone past it now, babe. Oh, I don't think I've cleaned that up. No. But uh, yeah. Um, it is a Ford key set. Somebody's lost the keys. It's got robbed. Little screwdriver. The edge missing off it. I'll put it with um, the tools for um, Sonic, but yeah, that's that. I'm trying to be quick because I know the video's been long. No, 
what that is. I don't have some kind of like light up thing. I think it is actually. Yeah. I think. Daddy's uh, loose now. That's come out, but yeah, it's some kind of. I think you'd have sent a little laser through there and lit something up. Yeah. Like an offering or something. I think you're right. So that's rubbish. We've got more pair pair prayer necklaces. There's lots on there. And inside them little capsules there, um, um, I believe that there might be uh, Arabic prayers, um, Muslim prayers. So I think a lot of the Muslim people put them in as offerings. I don't think it's a Sikh thing, but I might be wrong. We've got two more keys. We like the big keys, don't we? Yes, we like the big old keys. Uh, we have got... We found a purse, didn't we? Yeah. Well, I did. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six pound. Um, seven, we've got fifties as well, so seven, seven fifty, seven eighty, seven ninety, seven ninety five. £7.95? <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> Bonus. So, nearly a tenner for going out that day, so brilliant. Um, probably just give it to charity now and us, but there you go. Um, we've got two lots of Indian coins, which are rupees. Rupees. And then one, one rupee each. You do get the twos as well, now and again. But yeah, you've got the Indian elephant on the front. So that's uh, some foreign money that I'll put in the uh, Mitchell Clex foreign coins. So I don't know what this is, I can't quite see it. But again, this is, um, oh, hang on, Barbados. So that's a Caribbean, Caribbean coin. Um, I thought it was five pence at first, but there you go, it's Barbados. If you can make that out, I think, yeah. it's tiny though. But then, we have this as well. And I thought it was 50 pence, but it's got too many sides. And this is an Australian 50 pence, well, presumed to 50 pence or cents. I don't know what they use. Uh, I know they use dollars in Australia, but there you go, so you've got a 50. And on the back there, just to prove it, there's our queen, our light queen. Um, and it says Australia. Obviously, with the kangaroos on the front, it gives it away. Then the Oh, I'm going to still got three more finds to find. Right, and we found, um, I think this was my first find actually. This is uh, an unbeliever. Um, I don't know what the technical term is for it. But this is uh, the bottom of um, a shotgun. So the barrels would have sat here. And the mechanism and the stock would have been down this way. And then what you do is you press this button and it releases the barrels. Mm. So to take the gun apart. So yeah, I can't find no numbering on there, which is quite... Usually you get the numbering on, on this little bit of metal here. Um, but again, it's not nothing, it's not nothing I'd keep, but yeah, so we've got that bottom of a shotgun. Quite common finds, anything to do with shotguns these days, more than any other gun really. We found an old pot, now it's got holes in it. It's an old pot. Is it an old pot or an old pot? <laughs> so it's got holes in it. Um but on the bottom, when I pulled it up, I realised that it got made in Yugoslavia, number 12. Now, Yugoslavia doesn't exist no more. They changed it because they went into separate countries, I believe. When did it change? Ooh, early to mid 90s, mm. maybe late 80s. I know, it, I know it changed from Yugoslavia. They don't call it Yugoslavia no more, I don't think. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm wondering whether this might be wartime, I don't know. I have still got to look into this one. But, um,. It has got that wartime kind of feel about it and look to it. But uh, yeah, until I research it, I don't know. Then we had, well, I've actually cleaned this up a little bit. And on the back, it says gas 4-89. So I'm presuming it could be a 1989 gas lamp, light, road light, whatever you oh, want to call it, yeah. uh, lantern. So, yeah, if you look on the side there, I don't know if you can make it out with the camera. Wait a minute. It says gas 489. At the top? There. Oh. See? Oh, yeah. I'm just going yeah. to... It's right, I'm just trying to get it on a tilt, so... Yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. But, um, it's a bit tatty, but we'll see. We'll keep it in the garden for now and see how the winter treats it. 
So that's that. That's probably the most intact one we've ever pulled out. Then, it sods lower, innit? I pull an iron out. And it's a really nice one, but it's got no handle. Oh. And the ones with the handles I can't clean up. Because... But you might find a handle to put on it. I might do. I might have to call in a favour of Mr JD Dubber. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, this one is a silver stones patent. And it's salters. There you go. Again, I haven't looked at the year of it. I'd say it's quite early. Early 1900s. Um, as this style of iron was. And it was called a sad iron. And they used to put them on the heat. To heat them up. Until they got red hot. And then they'd iron out the clothes. When they, the clothes was damp. So yeah, they... Uh, a lot of these are in the clouds. And rivers. But that's come to the end of that video guys. Thank you for watching all of it. And uh, if you've got to this bit. Brilliant. Because it's quite a long video. Compared to what Peaky Dippers normally do. Uh, look out for the next video. We had some OK stuff as well. And uh, we're going to swear a nice weekend as well, aren't we, Maria? Yep. So look out for that video, which will be the week after next. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, cheers, guys, and big love. And like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't talked it.